Welcome. Before we get started, I'd just like to talk about the spelling of collectible. And I'm thinking here of the noun where it's a collectible as a thing, something that you would collect. So the IBLE collectible is something that has a lot of value that people want to collect and keep. Uh, for example, old comic books uh, or coins or things like that. A collectible ABLE is just something that can be collected. So I guess in terms of a video game, either of these might work in different situations, but I've just used the IBLE version. So if you're confused about the spelling of that, hopefully that will help. Now, let's have a look a bit of a look at the code here. Now, just be aware that I also have a main file here, uh, but I've put all of the code for the coin, my collectible, in a separate coin file. In the main file, I simply call the functions that are in the coins file because these won't run by themselves. They have to be called within init, update, and draw, okay? But I'm not really gonna be talking about how to draw things. Um, I'm gonna be talking about the actual nuts and bolts of your collectible, how to make a collectible work. So here I've got a function called init coin, and I have uh, set, uh, so made coin one an object. And so I've created the coin, an object, an empty object, and saved it as coin one. Now remember an object is something that has can have lots of different variables so the coin can have an x position on the screen which is left and right a y position which is up and down it could have a size etc etc so i'm just making it an object and uh, then i am going to uh, call a function called randomize coin position and the reason is i want the coin to start in a random spot somewhere around the screen so here's what, so when the computer code gets to here, it'll run this function and it will say, okay, coin1.x equals rand range somewhere between minus 150 and 150. So somewhere between here and here on the screen. Now, if you want to see the, the dimensions of the screen, um, go and have a look on the uh, player or the enemy section of the website because we have uh, that there. Co same with coin uh, position y between negative 80 and 80. So it's going to appear somewhere in the middle of the screen there. Now, that runs once, but this one, check for collisions, runs every single, uh, well, not every frame, it's separate from that, 60 times a second. So this code here will run 60 times a second. Why will it run 60 times a second? Because this check collisions function, I'm calling that in the update function, and we know the update function gets run 60 times a second. So what's in this function here? I've said if the distance of between player x, player y and coin x, coin y is less than 25, then it means that they're touching. So if the distance between the middle of the enemy, or the middle of the player and the middle of the coin is less than a certain amount, you can play around with numbers there so that it's really realistic. Uh, 25, then what are we going to do? Add one to the score. So score plus equals one, just takes whatever number the score is and adds one and saves it back into score. And then again, we want to run this function, randomize coin position. So you can really see here how useful it is to make your own functions like this because you can call it then in different parts of the program and you don't have to repeat this code all over the place. So let's just see how that works. So we go down and we every time we hit a coin, the score goes up by one, etc. Now, if you want more information about how collisions work or how the score works with uh, up here, there are separate videos for that on the website. Um, and a final thing I just wanted to say was just be aware that rand range and distance, those two functions, are not actually built into Micro uh, Studio or into MicroScript here. We, I have made them for you. And you can copy them into your project by clicking on explore, searching for games prog, games dash prog library, and you can import it. And it's shown how to do that in other videos or I can show you as well. Um, but just as, as a note, you'll end up having uh, those helper functions in here. The ones that you need is distance. This is the function. Um, and rand range is further down here. Okay, uh, if you want to look into those functions and how they work, you can, but I just thought let's keep things simple to start with. Uh, well, less complex. Uh, anyway, I hope that helps making your 
uh, collecting and uh, of course you could create more than one collectible and uh, later on in the unit we'll show you how to spawn hundreds of collectibles all over the place but just start with one or two now and uh, get them into your game.